Introducing ground facts. Reliable information for unreliable situations. This is an app for crisis situations that disseminates and visualizes on the ground information from Twitter, curated and filtered by human beings, and then delivered back to the people on the ground in real time. Based on our interviews and our own experience, one of the main problems for people in a crisis situation is getting good information. In the first hour, the most critical needs are around safety. Am I okay here or do I need to move? Very quickly, this is followed by a need to reach out to loved ones and know they're safe and okay. However, as hours turn into days and days into weeks, the information needs change. What is the safest and quickest route to get where I need to be? What petrol stations have fuel? Which suburbs have electricity? Where are the water trucks? Who has food, medical supplies, beds and shelter? Every sizable emergency in recent years has had people on the ground and others from outside the area tweeting information and questions. During the Christchurch earthquake, the number of tweets was equal in volume to a 250-page novel every hour. When the tsunami hit Japan, that volume was dwarfed again. Buried in this avalanche of data are a tiny percentage of really useful and reliable reports from people on the scene. The challenge is how to get the most relevant information to the people where it's needed. We need to somehow filter and curate it, then give it back to them, via an iPhone or Android app so they can get the information that's relevant to them. What roads are open? What subways are running? Where can I find clean water? What areas have electricity? Where can I find petrol? How does it work? It begins with some machine filtering to reduce the noise, but the real secret is in all the people who are not in the situation but who want to help. The heart of the solution is a news website where information is available about the disaster or challenging situation, whether it's the not yet happened London flood or a sudden Occupy eviction. When people seeking news about the event arrive at the website, they see two things, the curated and filtered news feed and a call to action, an invitation to help. If they sign up, they're taken to another part of the site where they see the raw feed as it happens. They are about to begin their role as one of numerous human filters extracting useful information while building a reputation score. A peer review process would ensure each item in the raw feed was voted up as important and accurate based on the reputation scores of the people filtering it. Many who watch or listen to disaster news feel frozen, unable to contribute and help. These are the people the website will be designed for. The website will offer people a chance to not simply be consumers of the news, but to experience it in all its immediacy, becoming part of it, actively participating and helping. Our job is to make it easy for them to jump in and help, and based on our experience, we know they will, in numbers. So the project involves three groups of people. The amateur reporters, tweeting and submitting Foursquare posts where it's happening. The human filters, volunteers who turn the raw feeds into valuable information. And the people on the ground who receive the information that matters most to them. Having the people who want the information as the customers ensures the app will be focused on being the best tool to get the best information to the people who will need it most. Get in touch if this idea has piqued your interest. We have some code already, lots of data, and many exciting plans we couldn't go into yet, including funding ideas and technical stuff.